Welcome to the Ultimate Sports Blog Podcast. Today's Sunday, October 7th, 2018. Today I'm going to recap yesterday's American League Division Series games like ahead to today's National League Division Series games. I'll recap last night's UFC fight. I will go over all the college football from yesterday. NHL, look ahead to today's NFL games. And I'll do my NBA centers rankings. I'm going to try to be quick here today. I'm going to start with baseball, obviously, like I said before. The Astros defeated the Indians 3-1 to to take a 2 nothing series lead. Garrett Cole gets the win. Carlos Carrasco lost. Roberto Osuna with the save. Top of the third home run, Francisco Lindor, one of the Indians, bottom of the sixth. Two-run RBI double for Marvin Gonzalez. 2-1 Astros. Bottom of the seventh home run, Alex Bregman. 3-1 Astros is your final. The Yankees defeat the Red Sox 6-2 to even up their series at one apiece. Masahiro Tanaka gets the win. David Price gets the loss. Bottom of the first to run Aaron Judge, one nothing Yankees. Top of the second, home run Gary Sanchez, 2 nothing Yankees. RBI single Andrew McCutcheon, 3 nothing Yankees. Bottom of the fourth, home run Xander Bogarts, 3-1. Top of the seventh, three-run home run Gary Sanchez, the second of the game. 6-1 Yankees. Bottom of the seventh, RBI double Ian Kinsler, 6-2. That was your game. Today you have, at 4.30 on MLB Network, Brewers-Rockies, Game 3 from Colorado, Wade Miley and Herman Marquez. I think the Rockies get on the board in the series and get the win at home. And you have the Dodgers and the Braves, 8 o'clock on Fox Sports 1 tonight, Walker Buehler and Sean Newcomb. Walker Buehler is just a stud, so it's awfully easy to pick the Dodgers here to sweep. But I'm going to say that Newcomb rises to the occasion. I think the Braves pull off a little upset here and force a game four at home. So give me the Braves, although I don't feel good about it. Hockey. Or no, I'm sorry, college football. I'm just going to go through the results really quick. Alabama defeated Arkansas 65-31. South Carolina defeats Missouri. 37-35. 37-35. Illinois defeats Rutgers 38-17. Michigan defeats Maryland 42-21. Northwestern defeats Michigan State 29-19. West Virginia defeats Kansas 38-22. Number 19, Texas defeats number 7, Oklahoma 48-45. Cincinnati defeats Tulane 37-21. Temple defeats East Carolina 49-6. Buffalo defeats Central Michigan 34-24. Western Michigan defeats Eastern Michigan 27-24. Pitt defeats Syracuse 44-37 in overtime. Number 23, NC State defeats Boston College 28-23. Northern Illinois defeats Ball State 24-16. Number 22, Florida defeats number 5, LSU 27-19. Iowa defeats Minnesota 48-31. Baylor defeats Kansas State 37-34. Iowa State defeats number 25, Oklahoma State 48-42. Number 4, Clemson defeats Wake Forest, 63-3. Number 17, Miami defeats Florida State, 28-27. South Florida defeats UMass, 58-42. Air Force defeats Navy, 35-7. Toledo defeats Bowling Green, 52-36. Ohio defeats Kent State, 27-26. Miami of Ohio defeats Akron, 41-17. Georgia Southern defeats South Alabama, 48-13. San Diego State defeats Boise State 19-13. Ole Miss crushes UL Monroe 70-21. Number 21, Colorado defeats Arizona State 28-21. Number 3, Ohio State defeats Indiana 49-26. New Mexico defeats UNLV 50-24. FAU defeats Old Dominion 52-33. Texas A&M defeats number 13, Kentucky 20-14 in overtime. UAB defeats Louisiana Tech 28-7. UTSA defeats Rice 20-3. Number 12, UCF defeats SMU 48-20. Memphis defeats UConn 55-14. Louisiana defeats Texas State 42-27. Number 2, Georgia defeats Vanderbilt 41-13. Mississippi State upsets number 8, Auburn 23-9. Number 10, Washington defeats UCLA 31-24. 
Number 16, Wisconsin defeats Nebraska 41-24. North Texas defeats UTEP 27-24. Number 6, Notre Dame defeats number 24, Virginia Tech 45-23. New Mexico State defeats Liberty 49-41. Washington State defeats Oregon State 56-37. Arizona defeats Cal 24-17. Utah defeats number 14, Stanford 40-21. Colorado State defeats San Jose State 42-30. Fresno State defeats Nevada 21-3. Hawaii defeats Wyoming 17-13. And those are your results. I had to get through that pretty quickly. Now I go down to hockey. Just going to list off the results and list today's games. The Devils defeated the Oilers 5-2 from Europe. The Senators defeat the Maple Leafs 5-3. The Sabres defeat the Rangers 3-1. The Lightning defeat the Panthers 2-1 in a shootout. Predators defeat the Islanders 4-3. Canadians beat the Penguins 5-1. The Stars defeat the Jets 5-1. The Blackhawks defeat the Blues 5-4 in overtime. The Golden Knights defeat the Wild 2-1 in a shootout. The Avalanche defeat the Flyers 5-2. The Ducks defeat the Coyotes 1-0. The Flames defeat the Canucks 7-4. Three games on the slate today at 5 o'clock. Rangers-Hurricanes, Rangers 0-2-0, Hurricanes 1-0-1. Maple Leafs, Blackhawks, Maple Leafs 1-1-0, Blackhawks 2-0-0, Blackhawks home opener. Red Wings, Kings, both teams at 0-0-1, and that's a 10-30 game. Today's NFL slate, I'm going to list off the games and what I'm looking forward to. You have the Titans and the Bills, can the Titans avoid the trap? And will the Bills make it a game? Falcons, Steelers. Both teams, I think, are in trouble here, especially the loser of this game. And I think the question is simple for both teams. Can they stop the bleeding? Giants, Panthers, the Giants, can their offense finally put a good game up? Well, it did against the Texans, but that was all in the first half. The second half, that kind of came apart, other than that final drive that put the game away for the Giants. And the offense was a no-show on... Sunday last week against the Saints. Panthers, the question is, do they take advantage of an inferior opponent? Broncos, Jets. Broncos, avoid the letdown trap. The Jets, take advantage of home field and uh, get yourselves right here with the win. The Jaguars and the Chiefs. The Jaguars, can they solve a little bit of Patrick Mahomes? And can Blake Bortles put up a good game against a suspect Chiefs defense. And the question for the Chiefs is, can their defense stop Blake Bortles? This is a big test for Bortles, in my opinion. And the other question for the Chiefs is, how good can Patrick Mahomes be against the best defense he's seen so far, which is this Jacksonville one? The Packers and the Lions, how can Aaron Rodgers navigate this game? without a lot of his best weapons, and the Lions take advantage of all the injuries for Green Bay. Or can they do it? I think they can. Ravens and the Browns. The Ravens. Cleveland Stadium is going to be a frenzy. Can they avoid the, uh, the trap here? Or a letdown, you could say, after that Pittsburgh game. And the Browns, can they bounce back from the tough overtime home loss against the Raiders and take advantage of home field? Dolphins, Bengals. Dolphins. Will Ryan Tannehill bounce back from their ugly game or from his ugly game the other day? Bengals. Take advantage of an inferior opponent, kind of like Carolina and New England from Thursday night. You just got to take advantage of inferior opponents. Raiders, Chargers, the Raiders. The Chargers really don't have a home field advantage, so are they able to keep this thing close and be competitive like they were in their other losses this year? And they're not a bad 1-3 to Raiders. I have to give John Gruden credit. And the Chargers, the question is, can they finally blow somebody out? They failed to do so with the terrible Niners team from last week. The Cardinals and the 49ers. My question for the Cardinals, will they finally get off the schneid? The 49ers are a bad team, especially without Garoppolo. 
and the 49ers. Can they find a way to win with C.J. Beathard? I'm going to say no. Although I could be wrong. Vikings-Eagles. The Vikings. No Dalvin Cook this week. And are they able to go into Philadelphia in a game where the sunset will happen and it will turn into a bit of a night game at the end there? Find a way to get the win on the road. Kirk Cousins has had a lot of success in Lincoln Financial Field in his career when he was with the Redskins. So that's the factor into people's argument for picking the Vikings. And the Eagles, question is, is Wentz 100%? Because I don't think he is. Rams Seahawks. Will the Rams blow out another inferior team on the road again? They did it with the Raiders in week one, although the Raiders, as I mentioned before, are more competitive and better than their one and three. The Seahawks are worse than their two and two. They won that game on a field goal last week. They probably should have lost to the Cardinals a week ago. And this question for Seattle is, will they even keep this thing close courtesy of the 12th man? I'm going to say no. That is a non-factor today. Cowboys Texans, the Battle of Texas. My question for the Cowboys is, will they build on last week's win? Last week was the best I've seen them. The Texans... Well, they build on last week is the more important question. I think it's a better good game for Houston than it is for Dallas. I think Houston, if they drop the 1-4, and four, they're in huge trouble. And last but not least, tomorrow night, Redskins Saints will get more into that game on tomorrow's podcast. UFC last night. Forgot to get into that. I'll do it now. Khabib Nurmagomedov defeats Conor McGregor. This was an intriguing fight, and that was overshadowed by the brawl after the game. And a lot of people are comparing this to the Ron Artest melee from 2004 in Detroit because of how crazy it was. So... That's that. And by the way, it was my submission in round four. Now I'm going to do my NBA center rankings. There's a total of 96 centers on here. I'm going to go from 96 to 1. And don't forget, some of these guys might not even make their team. Some of them might be traded and others could end up on the on G League rosters. Number 96, Salah Majiri the, from the Mavs. 95, Eric Moreland, Raptors. 94, Thomas Welsh, Nuggets. 93, Isaiah Harnestein, Rockets. 92, Jonas Bolden, 76ers. 91, Chris Boucher, Raptors. 90, Udonis Haslam, Heat. 89, Alexis and Jika Pelicans. 88, Joakim Noah, Knicks. 87, Jan Mahimni, Wizards. 86, Timothy Moskov, Magic. 85, Omarachik, Bulls. 84, Costa Kufis, Kings. 83, Miles Plumley, Hawks. 82, Zoki, Rockets. 81, Luke Hornet, Knicks. Now we're getting in the guys that will see some playing time. 80, Thomas Bryant, Wizards. 79, Alex Len, Hawks. 78, Tony Bradley, Jazz. 77, Ed Davis, Nets. 76, Christian Feliciano, Bulls. 75, Jonathan Motley, Clippers. 74, Justin Patton, Timberwolves. 73, Cheek Diallo, Pelicans. 74, Jalil Okafor, Pelicans. 71, Damian Jones, Wizards. 70, Zaza, Pachulia, Pistons. 69, Ike, Anabogu, Pacers. 68, John Luer, Pistons. 67, Dwight Powell, Mavericks. 66, Rashawn Holmes, Suns. 65, Robert Williams, Celtics. 64, Kenneth Reed, Nets. 63, Tyler Zeller, Bucks. 62, Channing Fry, Cavaliers. 61, Bismack, Biombo, Hornets. 60, Myers Leonard, Blazers. 59, Willie Hernan Gomez, Hornets. 58, Ante Zizic, Cavaliers. 57, Avaka Zubak, Lakers. 
56, Harry Giles, Kings. 55, Avon Rab Grizzlies. 54, Dirk Nowitzki, Mavericks. 53, Bovon Marjanovic, Clippers. 52, Nene, Hilario, Rockets. 51, John Henson, Bucks. 50, Gorgie Dang, Timberwolves. 49, Nerlens Noel, Thunder. 48, Javal McGee, Lakers. 47, Amir Johnson, 76ers. 46, Greg Monroe, Raptors. 45, Zach Collins, Blazers. 44, Mason Plumley, Nuggets. Now we're starting to get into some guys that are going to start. 43, Marcin Gortat, Clippers. 42, Thon Maker, Bucks. 41, Mitchell Robinson, Knicks. 40, Maurice Wagner, Lakers. 39, Montrezl Harrell, Clippers. 38, Wendell Carter Jr., Bulls. 37, Dwayne Dedman, Hawks. 36, Jakob Bertel, Spurs. 35, Cody Zeller, Hornets. 34, Ekpi Udo, Jazz. 33, Bam Abadeo, Heat. 32, Kylo Quinn, Pacers. 31, Robin Lopez, Bulls. 30, Aaron Baines, Celtics. 29, Tyson Chandler, Suns. 28, Tristan Thompson, Cavaliers. 27, Brooke Lopez, Bucks. 26, Jordan Bell, Warriors. 25, Larry Nance Jr., Cavaliers. 24, Pau Gasol, Spurs. 23, Jared Allen, Nets. 22, Mo Bamba, Magic. 21, Ennis Cantor, Knicks. 20, Hassan Whiteside Heat. 19, Nikola Vucevic, Magic. 18, Yusuf Nurkic, Blazers. 17, Jonas Valanciunas, Raptors. 16, Dwight Howard, Wizards. 15, Willie Cauley-Stein, Kings. 14, DeAndre Ayton, Suns. 13, Miles Turner, Pacers. 12, Stephen Adams, Thunder. 11, King Capella, Rockets. 10, Andre Drummond, Pistons. 9, Marcus Saul, Grizzlies. 8, DeAndre Jordan Mavericks. 7, Nikola Jokic, Nuggets. 6, Carl Anthony Towns, Wolves. 5, Rudy Gobert, Jazz. 4, Al Fortford, Celtics. 3, Joel Embiid, 76ers. 2, DeMarcus Cousins, Golden State Warriors. And number 1, Anthony Davis, New Orleans Pelicans. It's debatable within the top 3 on the list who could be number 1. I apologize because I know I mispronounced some names as I went down the list. And that's it for the center rankings, and that's it for the podcast today. I'll be back tomorrow recapping all the baseball, football, and anything else that goes on in the world of sports. I hope you guys have a great day, everybody.